Welcome back to Far Cry. This should be the final mission based on the mission list I looked up and how many missions were left based on where I was at whenever I looked it up. So before we got back in, I would appreciate if you consider leaving that like and subscribing on the video down below and be prepared for whatever the next series is. It'd leave a comment down below for games that you might want to see me try out. But back to the game. And we're inside of his final layer, it seems like. In the last mission, we actually got exposition that mattered. Apparently, the mutagen is affecting everybody despite having the antidote. So Dr. Krieger is also turning into one of these things. Valerie's probably turned into one of these things. And it's probably going to be a situation in the end where, like, we have to decide between who gets the, uh... The, uh... The antidote completely. Probably something like that. Is there a reason this door doesn't open? Because I didn't ask. Sure. Nope, I don't hear anything, bro. Again, the sensitivity difference between aim down. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Why? Where did you come from? Yep, thought I could cheese it. Nope, they just don't spawn in. Naturally. Naturally, they would not spawn into your through the door that doesn't reopen. Okay. I'm good, man. Any reason you're not dead, bro? Thanks, appreciate it. Just such fun combat sections. Worst part is there's probably one dude here that's not dead that's gonna, like, fry me. Alright, I got all the ammo that these guys had. I just need a checkpoint now, honestly. You alright? Do I look alright? I wouldn't worry about it, my dear. You won't live long enough to see what happens next. Is this a boss battle? Who infected you? We entered a toxic area. <coughs> the mutagen can only be administered through subdermal injection. I wish I could take credit, but I had no time to prepare the serum. <laughs> oh, you should turn out to be a beautiful specimen. Give it another hour. Much less for her. The old man was always one for melodrama. Too bad he had no head for business. Doyle, you wouldn't. Of course I would. Working for the government taught me that where there's a weapon, there's money to be made. Why didn't you just kill Krieger yourself? The Trijans are fiercely loyal, and you just killed their father. 
I'd love to see how they take the news, but I've got a super mutagen to sell. Doyle, unless you give us the antidote, you're not leaving this island alive. Now, I know you won't believe me until I've got a gun pointed at your head, but it's true. Sorry, Jack. I'm gonna need it. Forgive me if I don't shake your hand. <laughs> Coming for you, buddy. So the amount of times I did that boss fight where that man tanked 10 rockets, and then he dies to me shooting him 30 times in the stomach with the AR. Sure, dude, whatever. This game just it never ceases to amaze me. I also have no health, so if there's any enemies in this room, I'm dead. Because naturally, why would they give me health back after the boss fight? I don't need you to shoot me, man. Everyone else has done that enough. I need health. I need just healing stuff. Oh, we're in the boss room. Okay, that was the guy I just never killed. Fair enough. Is there stuff up here? Nope. And nope. That would hurt. Sure, whatever, dude. Kill Doyle and get the serum. Ow, where? Where do you want me to go? This door? This is the elevator we were already in in the cutscene. Why do why we have to take the elevator we were already in? Also, please health? Like, come on, dude. Thank you. It's literally all I've ever wanted in life is health. How did I... I don't want that, man. Alright, let's get kitted out and hopefully not die. Alright, that everything? 35 bullets, 15 rockets, full ammo... 400, and then 14. Alright, that's everything. Alright, let's let's go fight the good fight. Three dog! Absolute hell on the other side of this door once again. He's dead. Awesome. I have to sit in this little hallway they've given me to hide in and shoot the other guys before I push up, I think. Too bad we already missed one of them. I don't know where he went. That's him down there. Oh, there's another guy. Please die, please die, please die. Thank you. There's no shot, there's another one. 
There is. Why would there not be? There's another one. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Dude, I'm so dead. I can't get away. Wow, Zers, bro. <sighs> what did that open? I don't understand. My objective is kill Doyle, but how? What is... Let's go up. Let's see. I don't necessarily know where it wants me to go. Let's just nuke that. Let's just throw a lot of nades there and hope it did damage. You're quite the resourceful one, aren't you? My goodness, bro, is there someone else here I need to know about? So much stuff going on that just doesn't make sense. What's that sound? Well, this wasn't in your plans, oh. was it, Doyle? No, please. You don't understand. They sent me. They're always watching. You can't change this. You can't change the future. Probably not. But I can make sure you're not a part of it. Stupid bastard. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of Far Cry 1. Top to bottom, it's an okay game. 
it set the foundation for some of the aspects of the other Far Cry games, which I sincerely appreciate because I'm sure Far Cry 2 is much better. A lot of people really like Far Cry 2. I've never played it, but I thoroughly enjoyed every other Far Cry except for Primal because that one was dumb and Far Cry 5 to an extent was a little not very fun. But this game, you can tell it was definitely the first one and the first one of something generally isn't the most quality of life in tuned one. I'm sure in the second game, there are things that I hated in this game that aren't even going to appear in the second game or they're going to have like immediate remedies that make a lot of sense is there were some sections in this game that you just had to face smash in terms of how you approach them until they finally just worked or you got incredibly lucky. And that is all I really have to say about that, especially in the last mission, that boss battle, both boss battles technically. The first one with Dr. Krieger, like I said, I tried that like seven times and he was not getting hurt by any of the explosives I was throwing at him. And then the one time that I assumed I was just going to die and I was shooting at him, which is like the one you saw where I finally beat him, it took half a magazine of my assault rifle and he was dead. From a story standpoint, there is a story. Is it a very good one? Not really, but maybe that's just the 2004 thing, but then again, we got Halo 2 in 2004 and Halo 2's story was amazing. Final verdict on this game, like 5.1 out of 10. There's a lot of stuff about the game that's good, there's a lot of stuff I enjoyed or else I wouldn't have played the game at all, like I said multiple times, but parts of this game, if you played this game on a higher difficulty than I did, you're not gonna beat it. Unless you were like a developer or someone that's been playing this game for the past 19 years and you just know where every enemy will be and how to take care of them immediately. For those of you that are watching this and you think you want to play the game, I would recommend giving it a try because it's probably really cheap on either Steam or Ubisoft's launcher. Just if you play the game, play it on the lowest difficulty. That would be my recommendation if you want to play this game. At least the vanilla version. Maybe there are mods that make this way better. Like I said, I could not find any mod links that I would trust, so... That is about all I have to wrap up Far Cry. The next game I think I'm going to move on to is going to be Rainbow Six Vegas 1, and then we're going to go through some other games, maybe on to Far Cry 2 after that. I really want to start playing Fallout New Vegas on the channel, but I just have to find time and, honestly, hard drive space to put it in and get all my stuff recorded and installed. But that is where I'm going to sign off for this episode. I doubt there's anything after the credits for a game from 2004. If there is, I'll put it in. If not, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Enjoy the rest of your days, boys and girls. A pizza.